I am thrilled for you because my biggest fear was, again, that people would be afraid. They want to stay at home. If they're staying at home, they go to they go to Barstool. Uh, they, I want them to go to Penn that Barstool. I think it would be one of the most exciting things in the world. David, are you chopping at the bit to be able to go back and do sports or is this stock stuff fun enough that you don't mind the delay? I'm enjoying the stock stuff. Uh, you know, my firm, DDTG, we've made our mark, so I wasn't expecting that. So it's been fun, but I'm a sports guy. I'm a sports better. Uh, I want sports back. And when it comes back, that's going to be where my focus is. But for now, I am having fun with the stock game, as you well know. Yes. Well, Erica, is the, the stock book is not as much fun to me as the sports book. And I know you know the, uh, the excitement of sports, and I, know, I think you also recognize the value of it. Are you surprised, and we're going to get to everybody on this one, but surprised that DraftKings is worth $13 billion, but somehow Penn is worth $4 billion? Should it be reversed? It should be reversed. I think what you'll see is this fall and going into 2021 and 2022 and beyond is we're going to crush it. Like, there's no audience like Barstool's audience. There's no fan base like ours. There's no talent like Dave and Dan Katz and other personalities here. And look, we're going to drive a tremendous amount of value for Penn. Look at what's happened around their stock. Look at what's happening around our brands during the pandemic. Like we are just getting started. And I think you're going to see an incredible level of growth, not only for Barstool Sports, but also for the sports book. But uh, Eric, do you think that there will be a football season? Yes, in some shape I do. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.